Hello and welcome to the 69th tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at the preprocessor error directive. The error directive for the compilation error by default the definition C underscore underscore C++ is defined but if it isn't then they know C++ compiler. We will use this to demonstrate the preprocessor error directive. So let me just go ahead and open up a project. Some of these preprocessor directives, they are in a way default already implemented, like the line directive, the error directive, but you can have a bit more control over them. You can compile specific error messages. So when you look at it, you're like, yeah, I know exactly where that's from. I know uh, where to go and maybe even how to fix it. Instead of just getting the sort of default error messages, because obviously the compiler doesn't know how your program is structured and what it's meant to do. So to do this, you just do. I'm going to do up here. Just do hash, if not defined, which we covered before. Then underscore, I mean underscore underscore C plus plus plus, and then in here we're going to do hash error. And what we're going to do is you just specify what your error is. No quotation marks are needed. I'm going to put no. C++ compiler detected hash end if and now if we run this there we go run that and we have both succeeded nothing's in there because obviously the C++ compiler is detected but if I were to just this if I just do hash on def Underscore, 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 C plus plus, run it. It says no C plus plus compiler detected. Even though they C plus plus compiler, I've just undefined the C plus plus definition. Therefore, it's from this error. Or what we could do is, if, if it is defined, we're going to throw an error anyway. But the error can be slightly different. For example, it could be eh, we can put C plus plus compiler detected. Then we say that and now the error is C plus plus compiler detected, but obviously you would want it like this. But this is just a quick example of how to use the preprocessor error directive. In the next part of this series, we're going to show you how to use the preprocessor source file inclusion directive. We've already used it several times. It is basically this, but we're just going to go over it a little more. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk or the required link for the for the source code will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube as well. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.